Welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Where today I'm talking about the backstory behind a news item this week around a new Ghibli Park, which is going to be set up in Aichi Prefecture, themed around my neighbor Totoro. Now, the backstory here is that there's this bit of um, Aichi Prefecture that was the inspiration for the area in My Neighbor Totoro, the area around Mei and Satsuki's house. And that land was actually threatened with construction. A construction company was going to go in and just essentially build like townhomes there. And there was an uproar and Miyazaki himself got involved and they ended up getting that land protected as protected uh, space. Separately, for one of the World Expos, I believe, somebody built a replica of the house in My Neighbor Totoro in real life. So they kind of put it all together, which is actually an interesting construction on the house because it's partly traditional Japanese but with a uh, Western-style sunroom. And so they built this thing, and when the expo was over, they ended up getting permission to and getting money and so forth to um, disassemble it and reassemble it in this spot, in this part of Japan. So now that that's there, both Studio Ghibli and Aichi Prefecture have announced that they're going to set up a theme park here, again, themed around Studio Ghibli, but recreating the world of My Neighbor Totoro specifically. Now, they've said they're not going to damage the landscape of the park, so they're not going to cut down any trees in, in doing this, which seems, wow, good luck with that. The other neat thing is that... Um, there's going to be an operating company in charge of the park, uh, again, separately funded by Ghibli and the prefecture. And they said they're, they're absolutely planning to make the park an attraction for both foreign and domestic tourists. Translation, signs will be in English and as well as Japanese, and otherwise it will be something that foreign folks can come to and not be completely lost in. So that's kind of cool. What's curious is this question of how you make a Totoro theme park on a 500 acre chunk of land. That's a lot of land that's almost entirely forested. You're not just gonna build a roller coaster there, right? So how they're gonna do that without developing it in any real sense is gonna be interesting. I'm hoping it's gonna be something like a walking park, a hiking park, where there are all these trails winding through with all these little hidden things to find, you know, little shrines and little Totoro references and things like that just scattered all through the park. But you're expected to, you know, walk around and explore it. I think that'd be really cool. Um, hopefully it'll be something like that and it'll be something interesting. So we have another few years before it's actually opened and I'm sure we'll be getting more photographs and ideas of that. And one of the nice things is because they're not going to do any of this sort of major development, presumably, they can do it in, what, three years. So, you know, they, they can announce it and say, oh, it's going to be done soon. So hopefully it's going to be fun and cool. I'm sure it will be. And that's kind of the backstory there where they've got kind of the, the plans prepped and we'll see where it goes. So hope that's helpful. See you next time.